my name is Isabella Villarol and I am a rising senior at Perry High School. My name is Ethan Villarol, I am also a rising senior at Perry High School. Our lab mentor is Dr. Vandra, who is a professor and head of pharmacology at the University of Arizona. Our lab primarily focuses on preclinical research regarding potential treatment for pain using both in vitro and in vivo methods. The main research in our lab is to investigate metabolic pathways behind pain in order to better understand how pain works while searching to find compounds that help treat pain. The main focus of the lab is to find non-addictive drugs to help relieve chronic pain. Current treatments struggle to adequately manage chronic pain and can cause adverse or unwanted side effects. Most defining drugs that alleviate pain include unpleasant or dangerous side effects that lemon protein, the development of tolerance and dependence with repeated administration, fear of addiction, and difficulties assessing the social, emotional, and cognitive aspects of pain. Developing drugs that can treat pain while eliminating adverse effects is crucial for a patient quality of life and for addressing the current opioid crisis. Our lab incorporates a variety of methods to answer the main question. For instance, some include surgical models, spar nerve injury, and cancer-induced bone pain, and behavior models. Examples of this include the rotor rod and bone fray, or tail flip test for allodynia. Although our research did not directly involve pain management, we investigated the motor function of rats under the influence of different compounds. This is an important part of pain management that must be considered clinically. The compounds that we worked with were vehicle, the opioid morphine sulfate, aprazolam, a benzodiazepine, and flumazenol. Flumazenol is a GABA receptor antagonist which counteracts the effects of aprazolam. The main question that we investigated for our ex experiment was what is the effect of different compounds on rodent motor function using the rotor rod? The rotor rod is a piece of equipment used to test the motor function of rodents after the administration of a compound. The rotor rod is a horizontal rod which rotates at a constant speed, while the rats try to maintain their equilibrium on the rod over a three minute time period. There is a sensor at the bottom that will mark the time a rat falls or which will end the testing period. It is similar to a treadmill for a human. In our study, we used seven to nine week old male albino rats that had not been handled. We handled the rodents for about 10 to 15 minutes to make them more comfortable with us and used our odor. Then we trained them to stay on the rotor rod for three minutes before any testing could be done. We did this so that they can quickly get familiar with the rotor rod and how it functions. We performed three training sessions. For the first session, the rotor rod was set to zero RPMs. For the second session, the rotor rod was set to four RPMs. And for the third session, the rotor rod was set to eight RPMs. The animals were given four attempts to pass a session, and if they failed to do so, they were excluded from further testing. The tests include a baseline, a session at 8 RPMs to assess balance and motor coordination prior to the test compounds being injected. The rats are tested again at 30 and 60 minutes after injection. The goal was for them to pass the 3 minutes, and if a rat falls off, it fails and has the time sensor reported. Keep in mind the whole experiment should include a minimum of 5 rats for each treatment for reliable results. Based on the graph, we see that alprazolam greatly affected the rat's motor function as they were unable to stay on the rod for the three minute period. However, when the antagonist flumanzanol was added with alprazolam, it did not affect their motor function and they were successfully able to complete the three minutes on the road rod at eight RPMs. The graph also shows flumanzanol plus the vehicle has no significant effect on the rodent's motor function. This is the same case for the vehicle. However, morphine alone did affect their motor function, although not to the same severity as the aprazolam. Overall, this graph shows that the antagonist flumanzanol is a positive compound restoring motor function to rodents. Our remaining questions include, if morphine was tested at a lower dose, would it affect motor function? Our second question is, is there an antagonist for morphine that would improve motor function without interfering with the analgesic effects? If flumazenol was paired with alprazolam, would it alleviate the pain in rodents? And lastly, if rodents were in pain, which compound tested in our experiment would be most effective? Overall, this research experience has taught us how to properly handle the rats, analyze and interpret data. Furthermore, accepting and understanding our ignorance and asking more questions. Thank you. Thank you.